Preview. What is up guys this is Jarvis back in another video and today in this video I'm gonna review Android 12 port which I have been using from last 24 days. If you don't know how to flash this Android 12 port on Poco X2 then check the card here. Or you can look at description box you will find the guide how to flash this on Poco X2. Keep in mind this is just a preview of Android 12 this is not a stable ROM. Let me show you the Android version first. So as you can see Android version is S, it's mean Android 12. Now let's start the video with the average free RAM. So I'm gonna enable developer option by tapping on build number 5 time. Developer option is now enabled so go back tap on system tap on developer option and here is the developer option. So to check the average free RAM tap on memory. So as you can see average free memory is 3.7 GB out of 5.8 GB. If we are talking about the recent panel then it is same as the Android 11 till now but it will definitely change in the future updates. And the notification panel and the quick setting panel also change in the future update. SIM card and the 4G is also working properly in this port. This port comes with the pre-installed Google Dialer application and the Google default messaging application. Let's check out the Android 12 settings. So this is how it's look like. It's look quite different and better as in the Android 11. Let's check out the gesture setting first. First of all, I'm gonna enable the navigation gestures and here it is and guys we can also set the left and right as sensitive sensitivity of the gestures from here guys google introduced one hand mode in android 12 and it is quite simple we can enable one hand mode by just swipe down over the navigation bar or by swipe up we can exit easily from the one hand mode here is the double tap gesture setting we can perform many operation by pressing power button two times we can take a screenshot open assistant and much more let's jump into the network and internet setting here google introduce a new section called adaptive connectivity it extends the battery life and improve the network quality Now jumping into the notification setting then this is how it's look like. We have the conversation section where priority and modified conversation appear here. Then we have the bubble option and we have all other notification option like recent notification app, notification history, DND option and much more stuff is there. Let's check out the sounds and vibration setting. Here we have all the media control panel and we have the brand new notification panel and this is how it's look like and it's fit really really good it definitely look different from all the other stocks in the custom room we can put our phone into vibration and to the silent directly from here let's jump into the display setting and here we have the dark theme and dark theme is work perfectly it turns whole device into the black and it works very fine and here we have the font size we can change the font and display size and here is the colors we can select posted saturated or adaptive color I'm gonna select natural and here we have a smooth display it automatically switch refresh rate according to the usage it's time to test the fingerprint so I'm gonna set up my fingerprint let's check the fingerprint so guys as you can see result is in front of you fingerprint sensor work 10 out of 10 time we can force refresh rate to 90 hertz from the developer option so open developer option and here it is
guys i installed pubg and anti 3d now i am gonna open pubg and guys please don't judge me my gameplay is not good and i'm gonna play tdm set graphics as it smooth and ultra Now it's time to run n 2 3D test so I'm gonna open this n 2 3D application And guys result is in front of you which is not good refinery scene is 11 fps coastline is 18 and the terracotta is 8.56 now let's move to the conclusion part so it's just my opinion if you are a techie then i recommend to use this for once or if you are thinking about to use this as a daily driver then this is not for you let's wait for the future update i am very thankful to the team warp for this beautiful android 12 port hope they will update in this future so that it's with this video hope you like this video if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching tech Jarvis.